should be live. Um, if you could confirm, that would be awesome. I will. If there's the thingy to do. There we go. The Twitch stream is doing something. Oh, it's miracle. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Look at all the things you can do with a Pringle cup. I can't That's... believe it takes us to be told that by Pringles. <sighs> Try to so freaking slow. Part of me wonders if I'm using the wrong one. Hmm. I think we okay. are. I think we're alive now. I don't know, it's an incredibly ridiculously long commercial. <laughs> but I think it's better because it just stopped like. There we go! Yep. You know, volume is not an option. <laughs> what? I'm in the options. Just I'm trying to like. Yeah. I would like to turn the volume down on the game, but not turn you down at the same time. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Huh. All right. Well. You're just gonna slowly go deaf. Yeah. All right. Well, for those of you or anybody watching right now, this is going to be a new ongoing series starring myself and Son, whose canvas you can currently see on screen. And what we're going to be doing is I'll be alternating playing through Pokemon Uranium, which if you're unfamiliar with is a fan-created Pokemon game, while she is drawing some sort of art, most likely, more than not, I would guess Pokemon based on the stream. Um, but I'll also be alternating between Pokemon Uranium and just rando battles on Pokemon Showdown. That way I can extend the life of Pokemon Uranium since it is a fan-made game. There's only a limited amount of content left and I don't want to rush through it all right away. So, um, before we get going, Son, do you have anything that you want the people to know? Mm, do I? I don't know. Is there, like, you want to tell them... Actually, just because... You kind of already said it, but just because it'll possibly come up. Why don't you tell everybody what you're using? Uh, this is Krida, the newest version, which is... I don't know. What, let's go about Krida. It is version 2.9.1. Oh, I like the um, new design for the mascot. Uh, yeah! Very Bulbasaur. <laughs> um... Um, and, uh, it's an open source, uh, al um, alternative for, uh, Painter and Photoshop a little bit. Mm hmm So, okay. so yeah. All right. Kind of in my thing of choice lately. Uh, yeah. this newest version and my computer have not been agreeing for some reason, so we'll see how long it lasts. All right. Well, we're going to start up a new game. Um, uh, ooh. What do you think? I guess what? first go around I should choose regular mode. It's yeah. Probably a good call rather than going nuzlocke on the first go. Well, it take a lot longer to get every anywhere if you go nuzlocke mode. Yeah, I figure I can come back and go through nuzlocke mode after we get to experience all the different Pokémon since there yeah. are brand new Pokémon. Yeah. Are you sure you want to play this mode? Yes. If they remember what what I see of your game is like, um, a good uh minute behind you. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can't. This is gonna have menus on your screen here, but if you share your screen, I don't think I can because you're sharing yours. Oh. Maybe I can. No, I think it'll get rid of your share screen. Potentially. I'm gonna turn That's off the annoying. video though, so we save on the uh bandwidth. Yeah. Okay. I mean I can try you want me to try sharing my screen real quick? See what happens? Sure. Let's find out what happens. Share screens. Yeah. 
yeah, it got rid of yours. Okay. Okay, where did I bury you, Stig? Can you it's sign? It's funny because I can't even see yours. Can you share <laughs> mine? Or you share yours with me again? Yeah, I'm working on it. There we go. Okay, anyway. Huh, what's up, kid? Oh, that's right. You're that kid who's applying for the job, right? Well then. I'm Ernest Bambo. I'm gonna say, wonder if that's a bamboo joke, since he looks like he's a professor. Or I guess you'd call me <laughs> Professor Bambo if you want. Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? Need any help? I mean, it's Pokemon. I don't think I need anything crazy. Just check the controls. C to confirm. X to exit. Z to wall. Well, to run while walking. S F5 registered key item. Nope, let's go. Whoa! Look at that guy. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess untold powers of the elements and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. But we don't know everything about them yet. That's my job. I'm the regional, perhaps worldwide expert on Pokemon elements. Why do they exist? Why do they have strengths and weaknesses? Ah, but I'll tell you all this on your first day on the job. Report to my lab this morning to get your starter Pokemon. Now if you fill out this form here... Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. What's your name? What's your name, Lagwin? I just put Ted. Because that's wow. what I have myself listed as on the stream. Oh. Yeah. Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Get ready. Oh, I need a mirror. Ten years ago, Lucille, Ted's mother, was the manager of Tandor's third nuclear power plant. There was a slight mechanical malfunction. They were in the process of making repairs when... Uh-oh. Nice work, mates. Okay, break time. I'll fetch us all some lunch. I'd like a cheeseburger. And what about you? Um, I don't think we have time for a break right now. It looks like there's something wrong with the power room. It looks like the system is overheating! What's going on? It's going to explode. I like this game already. <laughs> Everybody get out. Get out. Run. I don't think I've seen this this uh, storyline before. It seems a lot like Godzilla. I know. Most of the age just barely escape with their lives, but as for Lucille, they never found her body. After that day, Ted's father, a famous Pokemon ranger, left his house to travel the region, secretly searching for his wife. Since then, you've lived with your aging great aunt in a small town known as Moki. You grew up there until your aunt, now retired, could no longer support a 13-year-old. Your father negotiated with Professor, uh, Professor Bambo, an old friend of his, to give you a job as a Pokemon trainer. Now the time has come for you to leave home. That's nuts. Come downstairs, I'm late. Oh no, I'm late! You're late, you're late for a very important date. Let's check my PC. We got old school item storage, like the old games. And I got a potion! Oh man, take me back to red and blue. <laughs> now I probably won't need that potion to fight the rival, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, there's my great aunt over there. At the... I'm so sorry. Oh, why do you have to go? No, don't answer that. I know perfectly well why. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so that I could support the both of us. 
But let's not dwell on the past. Here, I bought you some new shoes for your journey. Wear them well. Ted got the running shoes and a kiss. Go, sweetie, and best of luck. If you're lost, ask someone around town. When you can, call me, alright? Thanks, Grandma, or Great Aunt Lady. Oh, it even has little sound effects for, like, the, the pitter-patter of your feet. Oh, man, and the game starts at night. Or either that or it's super early morning. kind of Pokemon lives in this pond? Probably just Magikarp. <laughs> what a what an expert fisherman. Oh, I got a rare candy right now, like right off the bat. Nice. Alright, I'm digging this game already. Ted knows how to win the crowds. Hey Ted, I heard you're also getting your first Pokemon today. Theo, which is my another name for Ted, which is funny. Is really excited about that, you know? This must be Theo. Ted versus Theo, huh? <laughs> Theo, I'm excited about today, mainly with the part where I get a better Pokemon than you. Oh, he's gonna be a dick rival, too. I'm gonna like this game. Oh, well, I can't steal any items out of his PC. Oh, well. I tried. I wonder if there are old Pokemon in this game too, like pre-existing Pokemon, or it's all new. It should be old, based on what they said. Oh, my Charmeleon's level 28 already. Alright, thanks little- wow, little kid with a level 28 Charmeleon. Wow. Go kid. Are you gonna put this on YouTube later? Yes. Okay, good. Why? Oh, so apparently I'm drawing you as a little skinny fuck again. Eh, it's fine. I'm okay with it. That's where I'm trying to get to, so. Down 16 pounds, so we're working on it. We probably shouldn't have sworn. I. Son, we're adults. Adults use adult language, it's fine. You know what? If you want that to be your rule for tandem gaming, I'm fine with that. But for. Ted and Son's unnamed oh. Pokemon thing. I assume yeah. if you're playing Bloodborne that they're probably <laughs> swearing. Um, <laughs> yeah, whether we try to or not, oh my goodness, you should see the like the episode that uh, Reaper just posted. I just saw he that. He goes on a huge rant. Like, it's massive. I'll have to make sure I check that one out. Yeah, um, you know, we're adults. Language is language. It happens. Oh yeah, I can run. I keep forgetting. Oh, look at all the Pokemon in there. I want to get in there. Well, I guess I'll go talk to the professor. I hear in this game, too, you actually take a quiz. And that's what gets you your starter Pokemon. Because so one of my bit... one of my friends was playing, and he actually has the poke the starter Pokemon that's better than like that's type advantage to his rival. Because his rival answered a different questionnaire, you know. Right. Good luck on your test. Oh hey Ted, it's today, isn't it? Your big day, so to speak. But it's not just yours, of course. There's one other kid, isn't there? He's got some pretty. Groove and music for the rival. I got here first. Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo. Theo, remember it. Um, right. Sorry, Theo. Ted, you know Theo, don't you? He's your friend? Um, from when you were kids? You do recognize him, don't you? <laughs> hey, Prof, I'm kind of tired of waiting. Let's take this test already. Oh, right, right, the test. Yeah, you both will take a test at the same time. It should be kind of fun, actually. Wait a sec. What's on this test, anyway? Oh, right, right. This test consists of questions that serve to determine what kind of trainer you are. 
since different starter Pokemon are suited to different types of trainers, we'll be able to find one that best suits you, okay? Are you ready to take it? Let's do it. Question 1. Which of these Pokemon would probably win a battle? Magmar, Magcargo, or Blissey? Well... Uh, just any battle? Would probably win a battle, yeah. I mean... I would say Mag Cargo would probably lose because it's got quadruple disadvantage to water. Yeah. Blissey could win, but it take forever because Blissey just is a stalling Pokemon, and I don't like stalling, so I'm going with Magmar. Yeah. So obviously this is a personality quiz. Yeah. Theo, I suppose a Mag Cargo would win. Which of these kinds of Pokemon would you rather raise? Aggressive, gentle, or well mannered? Well. I'm trying to think if I was a Pokemon trainer, what kind of, like in the, like a real Pokemon trainer, what kind of Pokemon would I want to train? Gentle Pokemon are sweet and everything, but I feel like I'd probably, I'm gonna toss up between aggressive and well-mannered. What would, uh, what would you raise? Well-mannered. Okay, I can agree with that. He'll go aggressive. What kind of battle especially, strategy? What? Especially because it is... Son was in the Pokemon world. Especially mm -hmm. right now, since I'm doing all the drawing. Yeah. He'll probably be a watcher. Okay. Fair enough. I could, I could see that, yeah. Um, what kind of battle mm -hmm. strategy are you going to aim for in the future? Defensive, one-hit KO, or all around? Uh, I don't really like to play defensively. Um, I need to go all around. Yeah, because, like, I do... One-hit KOs, I usually do it, but I try to, like, set up for that, so we'll go all around. He would like an OHKO kind. What do you think is the best thing about being a Pokemon trainer? Make me friends? Oh, to make new friends, fame and money, to be a Pokemon master. For me, it's to be a Pokemon master, so. Mm. Obviously, it's fame and money. Well, he really is just a tool. Which of these TMs do you think is better? Protect, Hyper Beam, or Dream Eater? Interesting quiz. I like. I wonder if it's different every time. I doubt mm. it, but... Um, Dream Eater is useless, because it's a very situational TM. Uh, when, it's funny, growing up when I used to play Pokemon Blue and Red, and like used to play on Pokemon Stadium all the time for the N64, every single one of my Pokemon, if I didn't have a move that I didn't know what to give them, I just always gave them Hyper Beam. Um, but that yeah. was mostly because it looked really cool on Pokemon Stadium. Like, to see the beam shoot across. Yeah. Um, but Protect's the more useful move, so I want to go with Protect. He's sure it's Hyper Beam. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Alright. He's reviewing my results. He's gonna give us our answers. Here's what the test results have to say about your future partner. Ah, I got an Orchinx. I really wanted the dinosaur. Oh. The fire dinosaur. Yeah. Cause dinosaur. Right. He's gonna get the. Oh, he got the electric type. Okay. He got the kitty cat though. I don't think that's I'm okay with that. I just wish, you know, that I'd gotten uh, the. It's a fire raptor. I mean, come on. Should we give it a nickname or no? No. 
Looks like my Pokemon's a water type and yours is a grass type. That means... Well, your Pokemon has advantage over mine? No fair, I want to do over. I want to. I don't want to be weaker than you. My dad will help me. He'll give me some... His Pokemon to use, too. Then we'll see who's the strongest. He just leaves! Like, don't even get the battle. He just walks out. Before you leave, could you do me a favor? Check if Theo is alright. I don't want to be so sad. He's probably at his house. Crying like the little baby! Yeah. Uh -huh. Professor Bambo asked me to give you these Pokeballs. Use them to catch wild Pokemon. Okay, five Pokeballs. Let's go visit his, his house and see if he's being a crybaby. He just ran away. What did you do to my son? If you hurt him in any way, I'll... Oh, so that's how it is. He's unhappy with his starter Pokemon. Okay, I understand. I'm sorry for lashing out at you, but as you know, I'm very protective of my son. Here, I have something for you. Your father told me to give this to you. This device is called a Pokepod. It contains a map of the region as well as a jukebox and a phone. Hopefully you will find it useful. You know, I used to be a Pokemon trainer like you once. Of course, I'm just an electrician now. Theo comes first. Good luck on your journey. With this device, you can check Hander's map, use it as a radio, and also a phone. It means I can call my great aunt now. Yay! Go away. I don't want to talk. Wah. Hopefully she'll be better than Pearl's mom. Ugh. We spent all your money for you. I know. Let's go see Grandma, her great. I'm gonna. I keep. I'm just gonna want to keep calling her Grandma the whole time, even though I know she's not. <laughs> I wonder where Theo went. She says. Alright, into the wild we go. Let's figure out where the wild is. Not over there. Okay, rock smash for that. Oh, this is... Oh man, first Pokemon. Chin monk. Catch my my radita that everybody needs to catch. <laughs> Alright, that was easy. Oh, da, 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 what's that do? What's that do? Work, change, liquefy, ooh. Oh, I almost forgot my Pokedex. Here's my Pokedex. Alright, thanks, Professor. Keep searching the grass, see if there's other Pokemon. Looks like another chipmunk guy. It meows, which is kind of funny. Yeah, that's, the that's, chipmunk guy? No, no, the, my Pokemon, it, like, it sounds like a, like a cat meowing. <laughs> like, rather than, like, a weird Pokemon cry that makes no sense. Mankey! Alright. I'm down for that. Give me a Mankey right off the bat.
I really am digging the art so far. How does that man keep break out? Magic. Whatever, it's dead now. Are you gonna undo the mirror axe or what? Keep it. Keep it. <laughs> nope. Apparently. There's a trainer. We want more Pokemon before we go fight a trainer. Ooh, a bug! S'more, it's called. <laughs> oh, I must be... I'm Grass Steel. Typing, the cat is Grass Steel. Oh! Yeah, because I just got I tried to get shot with a poison sting and it didn't affect me. more approaches your picnic, it's not trying to steal your food. It just wants attention. Still, some people are afraid of them. Oh god! I've been possessed. My head is spinning. Pokemon. I don't really care about the chipmunk guy. He's probably just gonna use HMs if that's a thing in this game. Mm. Let's put some more in first. Might as well save, huh? This must use like a real, uh, like a real time clock. So it's nighttime because it's nighttime here. I hope that it's not a full 24 hour day then, because then that's kind of sucky. Yeah, because we're only gonna play at night. <laughs> yeah. I like the bird, or the owl, whatever this is. Hmm. Woo! Catch it! I know, I don't want to have my bug guy die. And... Owl Kitty! That guy out like it was nothing. Got 
got it. Outen are mainly seen at night when they are looking for berries and other individuals of its species. They are known for their lovely singing voice. Alright. I feel like I'm doing this wrong, but I have to keep going back and go and have my great aunt heal me because it's uh, taking so much damage. Dude, I wonder what that evolves into. I know. Alright, another chance at a Mankey. That's good. Come on! Mankey. He bro broke out of the Pokeball. The jerk! It's the second time I've ever. I wanted it too, it was a level 4. Well, now I have to make sure I get to the next town because I'm out of Pokeballs. This is a game I don't think I've ever run into so many wild Pokemon in such a short period of time, though. I'm so pumped for this art to be done. You have no idea. Yeah, it's gonna take a couple sessions, I think. Yeah, that's okay, though. People get to come back and see the progress, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Unless you, like, get so in into it that you can't wait. That's never happened before. <laughs> now they're just teasing me with these mankeys. <laughs> well, I think there's a trainer over here. Yeah. Old kid Tath wants to battle. She sends out a chipmunk thing. It's gonna flatten my bug. Yeah! Nice job, S'more. You got him poisoned. Green poison. Yeah. I like the effect. I think it's a good. The uh, poison was always purple. Yeah, opinion, I just so. I, I think the green kind of adds something to it. Oh, the thing does seem to be green, so works. Yeah. Here, so to the. Yes, more leveled up. And she's got another Pokemon? I don't know if I can take much more of this.
strong as she'd hoped. Your kingler's gonna have gigantic claws. That's okay. You should. They can apparently crush, like, steel or cars in half or something. One of the Pokedex entries says. Yeah. Probably on a big claw, not necessarily a little one. Eh, yeah, that probably. Just hit five. Wonder what level he evolves. Ah, not five. I'm hopeful that he's like your typical bug Pokemon, so he'll level up pretty quick. Yeah. He should. Unless he's modeled after Truffin. Like a bug catcher over here. Wow, they got some pretty long distance on the notifications with these uh, trainers. You're on high alert, are they? That was pretty far away. He sent out a s'more. So we're gonna swap and use uh, our, our, our bird kitty. Bird kitty! the bug faster than a bird? I mean, it's two levels higher, but still. Um, that's a sewer. do Reap's in here. Oh man. I think we might be able to get uh, my s'more up to level 6, so maybe he'll evolve into his cocoon form. Mm, yeah, it should be around 6 or 7. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, cocoons are really a bitch to level out of, so I would yeah. much rather that be shortened than the larva stage. Yeah. We'll see what level he hits now. I think he hit 6, so... Not six. Hey, how's the size ratio look? Well, it's great. Yeah. I ba I base mine off of the only real frame of reference we have is the anime. Well, I mean, like, obviously we have Pokedex, but I think about Ash and his Kingler. Yeah. But Ash's ki we know Ash's Kingler was like a monstrously sized Kingler, but I'm okay with that. I like it. Oh, was it? His was a his Krabby was like extra small. And his Kingler grew to be, like, really big. Oh, really? Or so they... That's, like, I think that's what I remember them saying. So um, I mean, so they just drew your Kingler way too big. Nope, it's fine. Keep it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what? I, you're supposed to be able to ride on him. He's in Surf, so... Okay, yeah, so this seems more reasonable then. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Also, you see this Fortog? No. <gasps> Basically. Well, it looks like it's. Okay. it's I can't, it's a, a trainer's. Oh. It's well, a, you don't have any Pokeballs either. Yeah, that's true too. Um, so it's, it's a, got. I think it's a poison type. Poison water? 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, now s'more is six. I learned leech life, so I actually got a, a bug move pretty early on. And my my grass kitty got leech seed now. <laughs> hey, you're pretty good. Wanna trade Pokepod numbers? I'll win against you next time. Youngster Richie's in the Pokepod. Oh, this guy will give me a fishing rod if I defeat the gym leader. Can I sleep in the bed and kill my Pokemon? No? You guys won't let me sleep in the bed? No sleep for you! I'm thirsty. I bring him a bike wheel. I'm just battling some dude in a, in a Pokemon Center. <laughs> oh, rich boy. Huh? Didn't that was allowed in <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you could do that. Apparently they're a little lack on the rooms over here in uh, Pandora. I guess, yeah. Did you forget to change the title? I thought I did, did it not change? Not for me. Oh, really? Uh, I guess unless I refresh the page, it didn't automatically change. I thought I did. I'm gonna refresh the page! Yeah, let me know if it did. Yeah, it changed. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, little s'more, you did that all on your own. Tough guy. Level seven. Good evil. Well, we'll see you after this match. Let me see how far away I am from the first gym leader and maybe we'll 
find it there. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to track how much time it's Yeah, it's okay. Oh, I've, I've, I've been, I've been going for 45 minutes, but it's almost 10 o'clock. Or 11 o'clock, yeah. rather. Well, it's seven. Just comes off with the bar. I think if I just saw that correctly, I think s'mores a bug fire type. Interesting combination. Mm -hmm. The hell did I draw on? Ah, oh, crud. It like changed. See the font changed. Oh yeah. Like. Bet you it's one of those Pokemon that messes with the noise. Can beat a rock type Pokemon. 
waiting on the leech seed to slowly sap its health. Cause I didn't catch that damn manky. Drain its health with leech seed. I don't know how I would have done this had I had a different book <laughs> one. I mean, what does he do? Uh, like, what does he keep doing? Because his font is so tiny. Uh, so sort of. Bulk, either I guess it's like some sort of bulking up move, maybe. Well, okay. Guys, those barrel guys. Well, it looks like they're rock and steel. Oh, it's hardened. That's what it was doing. Oh, okay. Let's just try throwing a Pokeball. Let's see what happens. Or... That would be crazy if I caught it. I think it only has Harden. <laughs> Dense metals make up 
barrel's body. A much heavier than they look. They would have been caves to feed off rocks in Middle War. This, oh, the new bat! It looks so cute! What? You know, like the zoo bat equivalent? Yeah, I'm just going to the stream shop. There we go. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, I'm a fan. Trainers traveling through caves are advised to bring along antidotes against Tony's poison, which causes great pain if it isn't treated immediately. Trainer battles against a rock steel type Pokemon are not very fun. <laughs> Especially because like I have nothing to beat it. Because if my um, if my starter had like an active grass attack, I think I'd be okay. Or you know if I caught that Mankey. type Pokemon would have had like a water attack already. A bubble or something. Yeah. Well, don't get me wrong, I love leech seed, but like it takes forever.
It's the battle that never ends. I know. At least I hit him with a leech seed on the first turn, so I'm losing. Health is rotated, and maybe my health will you know, sap, sap a little bit more health because I'm at a higher level, but. Hey. Just to make hand. it end. Yeah, just like get out of here. Because it's not even attacking me, like. And then the two damage that it does to me, I heal back with Leech Seed at the end of the turn. Rosard. It's 
Snake Lake body is almost always partially underground. The tunnels they dig, and the traveling boots, that is. It's a diglet! Basically. I'm actually good closing it here, because it looks like this is not the end of the cave, it's like there's more to go. Okay. We'll just pick this up in a couple, what's that, two weeks, we said? So, next yeah. week it'll be battling and stuff. Yeah. Alright, let me yank it out of this, and I'll see. Or not. This is a fat one. Come on, let me run away. Finally. Alright, we are saving. Great. So, thank you for giving me company, so um, I can't wait to see the final pieces of art once they're done. Looking good so far. Thank you. So, um, hey, next time we'll be doing some Pokemon Showdown, so it'll be a little more lively because there'll be more interaction going on. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we will be back. Uh, next Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, maybe we'll even have a name for the show by then. <gasps> Don't promise I'm not promising that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright guys, so I uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw and we'll see you next week.